Hello. Well, I was asked the question, what if I've done something really bad and I'm struggling now with, will God love me? And you say that he looks at our identity as if we're in Christ, but I have this horrible thing I've done. Can I get past that? And the answer is yes. I think in life, there are many things that shape our identity. One of the things that shapes our identity is the abuse that's done to us. So people that have been raped or, or just had just abused take on an identity of shame and they carry that. And so the trauma, the abuse shapes the identity. And it feels like you can't ever get away from that. And to be quite frank, in your own strength, you can't. It's only the Lord Jesus that can break that identity and give you a new one. Now, if you've done different things, I have a friend that was a prostitute and she came to Christ and, and the Lord has cleansed her and made her pure. And he looks at her as if she's a virgin. And so, yes, God is so powerful that he can change your identity. So it doesn't matter what you've done, what's been done to you, your identity stands in the fact that you were created in the image of a holy God. And the Lord is the one that gives identity. Not people, not abuse, not trauma, not the things we do. Our identity comes from the fact we're created in the image of God. And when you come to know the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, you are recreated in His image. And when that happens, His blood washes away everything everything, every stain. And I know for myself that was so incredible. It took me years to understand and learn because I was just held trapped by a false identity. I think if we look at Colossians 3 again, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. And if you remember, in the previous chapter, it says, For in him all the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells, and in him you have been made complete. You are in Christ, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and you're seated there with him. So set your mind on things above, remembering you died. You died to the past. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. And it jumps down and it says, consider that before you did all kinds of evil, but you've died to that. But you were sons of disobedience. You once walked in that way when you were living in them, but now you also put them all aside. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, abusive speech from your mouth. Don't lie anymore to each other since you have laid aside the old self with all its evil practices and have put on a new self. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And it's a process where you're dying to the past and coming alive to the beauty of Christ. So yes, all things are in the process of being made new in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in Him we live and move and have our being. And if that's true, then our identity is totally different 
you are in the process of being transformed. So make sure you set your mind on Christ, set your affection on Christ, set your eyes on Christ so that your mind is re renewed and he is able to transform you day by day, more and more into his image. Thank you for your questions. I love it when you ask questions, so put them in below and maybe next week I'll answer your questions. Have a wonderful day. God bless.